Hi everyone, welcome back to my YouTube channel. Today I'm gonna show you how you can resize the selection and the different features of using the selection tool. Now, now select, select the rectangular marquee tool and make one selection. First, I'm gonna show you the difference between the free transform and transform selection. You can either click on inside the box right click inside the box and you will see the free transform or you go into edit and click free transform or the soft keyboard shortcut key is ctrl t okay and then by holding the alt button drag the selection you can see that the selected part is getting bigger okay control j to redo, redo it and cancel it i don't want that to be changed again now this time we're gonna do the transform selection right click on the selection board and click transform selection or you go inside the select and you can see here the transform selection the transform now drag the selection this time by holding your alt button now you can see that the selection is getting bigger not the image itself you can move the selection by put your mouse cursor inside the box and right click inside the selection box and then you can do any of these features you can scale your selection rotate it screw distort perspective and wrap let's start from the top now the scale here you can see that how you can scale the selection okay go back again now rotate now this helps to rotate your selection go to screw you can move the bottom and top horizontally or if you hold the alt key and then screw it you can see that bottom and top is moving together horizontally and same as you can do it in the vertical size as well By holding the ALT key, you can screw the corner together. You can see that how the selection is being screwed. If you choose Destroy, you can move around the any handles according to the, the shapes you like if you choose the perspective you can when you move in one side the other side will move automatically now let's make the diagonal of this image for that one i will click inside the box again and make a transform selection and i'll drag the by holding the shift key i drag from top to bottom and right click and click the screw button and by holding the bar and alt i screw it into the diagonal shape now I need to increase the width of my diagonal when I try to resize the width you can see that it is not working and control G to undo it and it's because we are still in the screw mode so right click on inside the selection and choose free transfer 
I hold it the alt key, now you can resize it. The both sides. And all satisfied the dot. After you have the diagram shape you like, you can just click on the add a max and the Photoshop will automatically click remove all the unwanted parts and leave the selection part. To apply the background color, you just simply go to the color icon here and then go choose the solid color and the any color you like. I move the layer to the top. You can see that the layer is moved to the top. Now to bring this uh, layer, this is the diagonal image. In one side, you by using the move tool, you can move it into the one corner wherever you like now in this part you can add some text by using the text tool Still, change the color of the text to white and increase the size 300 ok once you are satisfied with this you press it ok that's it thank you for watching my video please subscribe and don't forget to like thank you